Wow. This is how you get all the air out of the tank. There it is. Y'all know we stay stocked with the O'Meals. It's been real. We're gonna let you go. Oh, there it is again. <laughs> if it's like, you got a 34, I got a 34, who did better, people would be like, well, you caught oh. on top water, so that's dope. I caught mine first. Hey, Scott. Top water, bro. Hey everybody, this is video number one out of a few part video series of my experience of Jamaica Bay kayak fishing. This video and this entire trip is sponsored by O'Meals. We're gonna be living off O'Meals the entire time we're there and on the way up. Okay, we might have, we might splurge on a meal driving up there, maybe a meal driving down and maybe even a meal uh, while we're out there camping with the boys. But for the most part, we're gonna be eating these meals right here. So I'll explain a little bit about those meals in a little bit if you haven't heard about them already. But right now what I'm doing is I'm trying to figure out what the heck I'm gonna bring on this trip. Um, if you've been following our journey, you know that we're no longer in the RV. That's being rented out in Point in Louisiana, but we are renting this beautiful home right here. And all of my fishing gear is just a complete mess. But it's now time to prep the kayaks, you know, get things like, we're gonna be glamping a little bit. Me and Scott Kennedy are riding up to Jamaica Bay. We're gonna meet up with a bunch of boys over there, Chris Santoro, Mike Derp, a bunch of the New York people, New Jersey, Philadelphia people that fish Jamaica Bay. We're gonna be glamping a little bit, okay? We got some air mattresses. Uh, we've got a big old tent over there where you can fit two queen air mattresses, um, but it's gonna be a super awesome time. I'm excited for it. I'd never fished for stripers before. Um, they, we've, we've caught a little bit of bluefish down here in Florida, but not these kind of bluefish that they got up north. Um, so right now what I'm going to do is start piecing rods together, piecing some reels together, uh, getting my kayak situated, getting my Louisiana gear off of there and just start trying to figure out what I need to bring. Okay. Well, right now this is a complete mess. Um, since we've been in this new house, all my gear has just been thrown all over the garage, but here's what I know taking this just in case. Uh, I'm going to be using some of these baits right here. These are the uh, band of anglers. These are the um, the dart spins. So I'm going to be using these all over there. Which actually, I have a little tackle box that I've already put together, started to put together. There we go, right there. Boom. Um, going to be bring obviously the PFD. Starting to get batteries charged up. Uh, we're not going to have any power or any running water while we're there. So I'm gonna be using this guy right here to charge like my phone, batteries, whatever. Uh, this isn't gonna come, but I sometimes bring this to take a dump in. So we'll leave that over here. I might need that, hopefully I don't need that. Uh, trying to figure out what kind of reels I'm gonna bring. I got another reel on the way tomorrow. I'll be using that setup right there. I might bring that setup to troll. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it out, but I need to get this figured out, this cleaned up and uh, organized. All right, on to the O'Meal. So this is what will be sustaining us. This and a cooler full of drinks uh, will, is what we'll be mainly eating um, for this trip. It's a five, six day trip. And uh, yeah, I got a whole bunch, of, whole bunch of types of meals here with me, but kind of want to show you what they are if you haven't heard of these already. So these are self-heating, fully cooked meals. O'Meal's are the only outdoor meal on the market that are not freeze dried or dehydrated. So you guys see me eat these in my videos before on, on Instagram, on Facebook. Um, but the meals are fully cooked. You can use any liquid to heat them. Basically when you put three to five ounces of liquid inside this package, it reacts with the heater that's in there, which starts the chemical reaction that heats the pack of food that's actually inside this bag. So these meals are delicious. It's home cooked meals, go straight from the pot into sealing, into the preserve method. And then this is what we get. It already has your spoon in there it has the heater has your food literally has everything we need so i always keep these in my kayak in my truck in my toolbox and this is what we'll be living off of for the next few days the next order of business is getting the rods uh, that i'm going to bring so i'm going to bring this one uh, that is a 4000 pen reel uh, on the pen rod so i'm bringing that I'm probably gonna bring this one uh, as just a just in case backup as like a heavy trolling rod. This reel is way too big, but I still keep it in my truck usually just in case. Um, I'm gonna put this on a rod right here. The this is a 3500 Spin Fisher. 
Love that reel. Um, I got a Daiwa BG 5000 that I have coming in tomorrow from Tackle Direct, as well as a reel from Tackle, a rod from Tackle Direct I'll be putting on it. My favorite reels are the BGs. This is what I use for redfish. Um, the B, this is 2500 series right here, but I mainly keep four BG 2500s when I'm kayak fishing inshore in Florida, uh, Louisiana, southeast, southeast, you know, United States. I got a 5,000 of these uh, version of this coming, but I'm also gonna bring a 2,500 and probably throw it on one of these rods right here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and pick my first few meals while we're there. We're gonna be kayak fishing for, I think, three days and maybe one morning. So I think for the first day fishing, I'm gonna have the beef stew and I'm gonna throw a, let me see here, probably a, yeah, Southwest chicken in there for the second day. I'll reload for the third, but I also might bring one for a buddy in case they uh, forget lunch. I'm gonna go ahead and put some some uh, some of these little ice ice bags in the coolers to get the cooler chilled and pre-chilled. And that's a mistake uh, some people make. Um, they wonder why their expensive, nice coolers don't keep their Things cold for you know five, six, seven days, like they say. You gotta pre chill them for a day. So, you got those in there. Got a bunch of frozen water bottles. That will be our main source of keeping things nice and cool. Uh, got about 15 frozen water bottles making ice here at home uh, so we don't have to buy ice. Um, go ahead and do that. Keep things like our drinks cold. We got some coffees we're bringing and some, some energy drinks and just some, just other waters, whatever. So, yeah, keep everything nice and nice and cool. So for a trip like this, you wanna make sure that um, you have something to charge your devices. You know, we're out there filming using our GoPros. We're not gonna have electricity. So this is a lantern slash, you know, a music player slash charger. It'll be used as a charger slash lantern because we don't have any lights. This is a solar panel charger. So this can sit outside or on top of my kayak, you know, get in battery. Right now it is fully charged. Got two chargers right here. This is my car jump starter, but acts as a charger as well. And like I said, we will be using, did I take it out already? Yes, I already loaded it. Um, I've, I've got some uh, batteries that we can plug an inverter into and we'll be using that. And worse comes to worse, if we really need to charge something, we'll plug it into my truck, turn the truck on and get it charged up. But right now, this is the charging situation. Just in time, my angler bullseye came in for this trip. Gonna download, oh, it has a red light already. Don't know how to work it, but I'm gonna download the app, get those premium maps, just in time for the trip. I think the UPS man is here with my rods from Tackle Direct and my new fishing room. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, well, well. Thanks, buddy. Thanks for helping out. Fishing reel should be in there and two rods should be in here. Here's what we got. I got the 5000. This is the BG 5000 by Daiwa. Y'all know I love these. I can't say it enough. Um, in no way working with these guys whatsoever. I've just loved these from the start. And uh, got two rods in from Tackle Direct. Both of these are seven foot rods. Uh, this is my Silver Hooks. This is a uh, medium heavy rod. And this is what I'll be pairing the uh, 5000 with. And then on this silver hook series rod, this is a um, this is what I'll be putting my uh, what do you call it? The Pen 3500 on this one. That'll be a nice setup, nice pair right here. Super excited to put these two to work. Again, thank you, Tackle Dr. I placed an order uh, Monday afternoon, and it's Wednesday afternoon, and I leave tomorrow. And they were able to not only spool this up for me in time, get it ready to roll, but get my packages here so quick. And guys, thank you so much for expediting that for me and just being an awesome company. We are slowly getting there. <sighs> lots of stuff, lots of stuff. Getting loaded up, getting things ready. Slowly getting there. Good morning, everybody. It's time to go to Jamaica Bay. I'm super excited. Got a good night's sleep last night. We are pretty much loaded up. Got plenty of room for Scott. Kayak in the back. Got the oatmeal's. Got my coffee. 
just kissed all three of my kids by my wife. Oh, I'm gonna miss him so much. It's a little tough leaving my baby Owen behind. I think today he's 10 days old, 11 days old. Super cute, got to snuggle in for a while this morning, but um, my gracious wife is allowing me to go on this trip. So Shannon, thank you so much. I love you. And Scott, I'm on my way to come meet you in Richmond, Virginia. No way, Georgia, Savannah, Georgia. Now I'm just sitting here waiting for Scott Kennedy. Um, I'm over here in close to Savannah, Georgia. He's not gonna be here till two. An hour late, bro. An hour late. Finger guns. What's up, guys? Finger here with Scott Kennedy. Finally made it. Only an hour and a half late. Time change. Forgot to calculate time change. Something like that. All right. So we got to load his kayak on the roof of my truck and I think he only has like one bag, right? That's all you gotta load is like one bag. Gotta load all this gear into my truck. Somehow, somehow we gotta do it. Scott's kayak loaded up. We got Scott's tots over here. Hey, Mr. Scott, what you gonna do? What you gonna do? Make our dreams come true. Oh, ho, ho, ho. bro, I already got two cases. Like now we got three. Okay. Uh oh. Uh -oh. Piss. Wow. <laughs> got enough room. All right. As Rex would say, this truck is loaded down. Loaded down. <laughs> All right, there's Scott's license plate number in case oh, anybody wow. wants. Come on, <laughs> I'll blur it out like this. All right, we got three cases of water. We got the club soda, the Sam's Cola, Gatorade. No, you did. Oh, we got the flip flops for New York, just in case we get warm. We're ready to roll. Oh, and before I forget, we want to say thank you to Adam over here in Georgia for letting us use uh, his driveway to keep Scott's car here. Again, please don't look at the license plate. Appreciate it. <laughs> Appreciate it. Let's roll. We just have a few rolls for the truck. We don't use AC, okay? We don't use AC in this truck so we can have maximum gas mileage possible. Also, are you paying attention? No, I'm, I'm getting my vlog ready. Also... We don't dip tobacco. <laughs> we don't we don't dip tobacco in this truck, okay? I brought my bottle just, we don't, just for that reason. We don't dip and also we don't take more than three breaths a minute to conserve oxygen. Those are the rules. He hit it. This reminds me of Chris Santoro vlogging. What? A, a tiny gun. Again, that shot. That shot's I don't know what to do. <laughs> Hit the brake on him. So rude. So rude. Oh, you got it against the yeah. window. Yeah, I moved it off. Truck's about to kill us. It's got pieces flying. Oh! Look at that tire! Look at it! Look at, Look that, at that tire! Look at it! Oh, did you see it? Yeah. Did you get it on camera? I think so. Awesome. Okay, so we uh we are in the Hampton Inn, and there wasn't a wall that I could back up against, so I had to back up against the uh the bush. <laughs> Product from Yak Beer. <laughs> the best anti theft in the market. We call it the Yak Bush. <laughs> Yak Bush. Yak Bush HD. Don't want your kayak stolen? Yak Bush HD. 
All right, so we're paying like an extra 30 bucks, 40 bucks instead of going to Super 8 down the street to go over here. Just to be in the dungeon. Oh, we're kind of in this dungeon, a pit. So it's a little bit safer. We didn't want to stay in Richmond, but uh, throwing some locks. There's already a canoe lock on the front of Scott's kayak. He's gonna throw this lock on. And then I've got this lock, which that's nice and secure. And I also got a canoe lock right here running through it. So we're pretty good. I think we're pretty good. And it's very lit around here and it's lit. Yep. Go. Yeah. Well, this is what you get for $120 with a discount in Virginia. I think you're paying for the security more than that. I think we're paying for the security. <laughs> Which, Scott's gonna be sleeping right here where he can watch our kayaks all here, night. Here's what we'll do, all right. So we get, a, I got some string. Yeah. We tie a string to the kayaks. Yeah. Run it through the windows. Yeah. Tie it on my toe. Yep. Somebody tries to take it, I'll feel them try to take it. Yeah, so how are we gonna get the string outside of this window? Do the AC vent. Just, yeah, you know. Just, just Makes just sense. So, Scott, which one do you want? Vegetarian chili? Cheese tortellini. That tort. That tort. All right, we're gonna make some oatmeal in the hotel. This will be our dinner for the night. It's, uh, it's not past midnight, so still technically dinner, right? What's in Scott's pockets? What's in Scott's pocket? Whoa, that's a knife. That's some money. We got a random lure. Wow. All right, we're gonna get to making this. So we got the utensils, we got the uh, pouch of food, and we got the heating pad. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the heating pad out of here, throw it in the bag, throw the food in the bag, and we're gonna use water from that sink. I'm gonna get this whipped up. I'm gonna show you how these guys are done. It's tough to get out of the house and get the kayak camping trips and that kind of stuff to perfect for that. So I'm gonna get that going and uh, we're gonna get some food in our bellies. Off and steaming in the hotel, not setting off any any alarms. Good to go. What are you always laughing at? Bro. You miss Karen? Yeah, I'm crying. Aww. I'm crying. <laughs> He's got the vlog station set up. I think he was just doing a uh, beauty, makeup beauty tutorial. Were you? Yeah, I'm branching into all markets. Mm -hmm. It was like a... Whistling Copen Waters Mascara. It's like a Copenhagen slash O'Meal's beauty vlog. Very nice. Very nice. The, the Copenhagen really right. accentuates, accentuates your eyes. We're going to bed. Good night, kayaks. All right, this is Scott's first time going to a Wawa. Of course, he's got to vlog it. Vlog, oh gosh. My dang Job. Oh no. My dang Job, oh jeez. Oh, no. oh no. What is happening here? You want this footage for your vlog? No, you can't have it. All right, we're pulling in. We're somewhere I've never been. We don't have these back home. These are, these are strange. Look at Scott looking like a straight Alabama kid. Scott. Scott. This is disgusting. Why are you so mad, bro? Because Chris told me this chocolate milk is the chocolate milk. But, you know, I'm a true man from the South. Who knows what chocolate milk is? This is water tainted with a little bit of cocoa. You know what's better than this? Nesquik is better than this. What does it take 59 minutes to go 15 miles? Explain. New York, New York! Wrong answer. Well, that's probably the right answer. <laughs> okay, so this is how it's going so far. We just uh, got to the bait shop. We're about miles. 20. Take the exit on the right. We're about 20 minutes from uh, where we're going to be camping. And uh, you know what's so funny? Literally everything this bait shop sold, they sell in every major tackle shop in Florida. How do you feel about that, Scott? We got fleeced, guys. We got really fleeced. Got fleeced. And uh, so obviously we didn't bring our 
all the stuff that we normally, so we literally just bought stuff that we use in Florida. Can you believe this? Anyways, we're not gonna let that annoy us too much. Not on this vlog at least. As soon as I hit end, we'll cry about it. Uh, but we are on our way to the campsite and we're gonna play it by ear, figure out if we should set up now before it rains tonight, if we, if we should go fishing and try and set it, I don't know, we'll figure it out. Anyways, on our way, finally, uh, to the camp. Look who it is. <laughs> it's waking up derp. Right, and we are here. We are here. So here's how we're gonna do it. We got some air mattresses to blow up. Battery in the Minn Kota. Inverter. Cigarette lighter. Pump. Right there. So once this turns on. <gasps> boom. Derp. Oh my god, look! Whoa! Boom! Oh, Kyle! That's a thumper bullet! That's a thumper bullet. Derp is set up. We're getting set up. I'm about to put this rain fly on for it rains, we can feel it. So this is a, a tent built for kings. Can, can, the queen, queen bed. You even got sheets. Bro, this is better than the hotel room. Oh yeah. We got a full size table for doing stuff. We got a room for another air mattress right here. We're good to go. Still a little cribs. Here's our tent. Got Scott's bed, got my bed, got our kitchen, cooler, we're getting there. Y'all know we stay stocked with the O-meals, this one's for Derpy Derp. Skirt! Ooh, my favorite. We are loaded up, got some basics tied on, just to see what's going to go on. Band of Anglers, Dart Spin, Derp's over there. Camp is ready to go. You ready, bro? Yeah. Let's do it. It is official. First time kayak in the water in New York. Out here with Derp, he's right over here. Out here with Scott, he's over there. And I am trolling, and we're gonna see what happens. This is just a test run. We didn't even plan on fishing today. Let's see what happens. That's pretty neat. Kayak fishing out here, able to see the New York skyline, New York City skyline. Pretty sweet. Oh, nice! Woohoo! Heck yeah! There we go, got a stripey! Well, there we go, guys. I got my first stripe. He's not that big, I'll measure him here in a sec. Well, it's just like a redfish, to be honest. Pretty sweet, see you bud. 